All right, guys, so lowered kickstand, the bike that is lowered, you can see the black, well, you can kind of see. Uh, it's not the typical uh, standard dog bones that are in there. So it's one inch lowered bike and you have to lower the kickstand when you lower the bike. So uh, how I determined the length or the amount to cut off of the kickstand uh, was I put the bike, you can see on this block right here, uh, front and rear. So that way it's level. And uh, with the stock kickstand on, stock length, it was the perfect distance to the ground on these blocks. So what I did was I took one of these blocks into a, it was actually an exhaust and muffler shop, and they did a custom weld job for me. So what they did was they cut around here, not the whole way through. Uh, if you cut the whole way through, you're gonna be screwed. Uh, Cause this piece here, uh, there's like a solid piece of steel that goes down into this hollow pipe. So uh, what they did was they just barely cut around the edge until it broke free, pulled this out, cleaned it up. They cut down by the amount of uh, a one by three. And then they also put in a couple like punch welds. So it's nice and solid. Then they also cut this perch off and moved it down by the same amount as uh, that block of wood that I brought in. So a couple big tips. When you're taking the kickstand off of the bike, uh, don't take the spring off until you pull the bolt out of here. Uh, if you do that, taking the spring off is super, super easy. Uh, if you don't do that, you're just gonna scrape things up and curse and it's just super annoying. Uh, the other thing, pro tip, get a little bungee cord uh, and that helps keep things out of the way. This is the, uh, the kickstand safety switch for if you're not in neutral. Uh, and this just keeps it up and out of the way, otherwise it's really annoying. Uh, and then the next thing, uh, if you look up YouTube videos on how to get a spring back on a kickstand, what you're going to come across is, uh, oh, stretch it out and put pennies in it. Now, it doesn't work on, on the springs for the new KLR. Uh, this is a double spring. You can see that there's two, two here. Uh, and on a double spring, it doesn't work as well. Also, it just doesn't work super well. I tried that and it sucked and it, it just resulted in me scraping up my kickstand, you can see all the marred marks with like a screwdriver trying to pry and get it on. It just didn't work. Uh, so what I ended up doing, I repainted this uh, yesterday, let it dry. Uh, and now I'm gonna put it on with uh, the method that I just told you. So that way I don't have to deal with that problem. Other pro tip, uh, get some grease or whatever it is that you use. Grease this up before you put it on. So that way this area can be greased appropriately the bolt can be greased appropriately. Do all that ahead of time. All right, so here we go. You wanna put it with the long side up this time instead of down. I think it was the other way around. Hook it on. And then there. There it is. Check it out. Now, obviously I need to put everything else in, but you don't need to watch that. There it is. Shortened kickstand with the one inch lowering links. You can see those are the one inch lowering links from Eagle Mike. And this is a really good lean. I can push on the bike really well and it I mean it, this thing is solid and there you go look that's pretty much perfectly flat right there